In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a shape tween in Adobe Flash. As you can see on your screen right now, we've got different shapes and words all morphing into one another. And that's basically what a shape tween is. It's just manipulating different shapes and text and converting them into other shapes. So let's head over to Adobe Flash now and get started on making this ourselves. We will begin today by making an ActionScript 3.0 file. From here we're just going to go over to our toolbox and we're going to pick up the rectangle tool. I want you to take the stroke off this tool and just choose a fill colour, any colour will do. And I want you to draw a rectangle on your page. Stick it in the centre. From here we're going to get into our timeline and move across to about frame 25. So that's about one second worth of animation. And we're going to insert a keyframe. And we do that by pressing F6 on our keyboard. We're going up to the insert menu, timeline, and keyframe. So at frame 25, we want this shape to change into a circle. So I'm going to delete by clicking on this rectangle and pressing delete on my keyboard. I'm going to delete that rectangle and now with my oval tool, I'm going to choose a fill color. And I'm just going to draw an oval on the page, or a circle on the page actually. I'll hold shift as I draw it to get a perfect circle. I'm going to move that into the middle of the page. So now looking at my timeline, I've got an animation from frame 1 to frame 25. If I press enter, you'll see it's mainly the re red rectangle and at the end of the animation it changes into the blue circle. Now what we can do is use a tween in flush to make this shape start as a rectangle and then morph into a blue circle over time. And to do that we simply right click our mouse anywhere between these two keyframes and we create a shape tween. Now as I use the scrubber here just to move the playhead we can see it starts as a rectangle and slowly over time it's morphing into that blue circle. So not only does it change colour it also changes shape. And that's a shape tween right there. It's quite simple. Remember you've got your starting point of your animation at frame 1 your end point at frame 25. Flash uses tweening to fill in all those little frames in between our start and our end point. So let's keep going with this animation. We'll go up to frame 50 now and press F6 to put in a keyframe. Using our black arrow we'll click on the circle and delete it. This time we're going to look for our polystar tool. Once we've picked up our polystar tool, you choose options and make sure you've got a star selected. Once you've got a star selected, make sure it's got five sides and the point size is about 0.5. We'll click OK. I'll choose a yellow color for my star. Again, no stroke. And I'm just going to hold Alt and press Shift and draw a star on my page and use my black arrow to get it roughly in the center. Okay, so we've got a new starting and an ending point for our animation now. Frame 25 is our start point, and we travel over time for about one second, and we get to frame 50, which is the end point. So these frames in between, we want Flash to fill them in for us. So we right-click and create a shape tween. And now as I use the scrubber here to go through my animation, we start at the circle on frame 25, and over time as we head towards frame 50, you can see the shape changing colour and turning into a star. So watching our whole animation now, if we press enter, we've got about two seconds worth of animation, a rectangle into a circle and then into a star. Okay, that's looking good so far. Now we're not just restricted to shapes in a shape tween. If I go over to frame 75 here and press F6 to insert a keyframe, I'm going to delete the star off my stage and I'm going to use the text tool this time. Change my color to green and I'm going to write inside here. Let's choose a nice thick font, something that's going to stand out. So I'll choose this interesting font here, TW Sen MT Condensed Extra Bold. It's the longest name for a font I've seen in a while. Oops, I might use capital letters as well, so they'll take up some more room. And using my free transform tool, the third tool in my toolbox, I'll just hold shift and make that a bit bigger move it into the center of my page. Okay, so that's some text now. We can obviously convert shapes using the shape tween tool. How about we have a go at using some text? 
Okay, there's a bit of a trick here with the text. What we need to do is grab our black arrow, and before we can shape tween it, we need to right click on it and break it apart. And what that will do is break our letters up into individual letters, but it's still not ready for a shape tween. We actually want to do it one more time, so right click on those letters and break them apart one more time, and you can see that now they become a shape that we can easily edit. So, looking at our timeline, frame 50 is our start point of this last bit of animation. And the end point is frame 75, where the word flash comes up. We want the star to transform into the word flash. So we right click in between those frames and make a shape tween. Okay, and as we scroll from 50 across to 75, you can see the star now turning into the word flash. Okay. So let's play the animation. Okay, it's looking good. If I press Control Enter, this will repeat my animation over and over again. Now the word flash, you can see it doesn't stay up on our screen very long at the end of the animation. So let's just go across to frame 100 here and press F5, which puts in a blank frame. Okay, and that basically just has the word flash sitting on our stage for a whole second doing nothing. It just gives our viewers a bit of time to read what's going on there. So let's have a look at it. And it just sits there for a second and then goes back to the start of the animation. Okay, so that's basically it. That's a shape tween. I'll just show you one other type of shape tween that can be done. I'll just go to new. You can make lines grow using the shape tween tool. So what I can do is just draw a little line on my page. I might use my black arrow to select that line and make it a bit thicker. We might make the stroke about 5. That way you can see it a bit clearer. Oops, we don't want to deform it. We just want to pick it up and move it down the bottom here. Okay, that's at frame one. We've got this little line sitting on our page. We can go across to, say, frame 50 now. So that's about roughly two seconds into our animation and press F6. Now, using the free transform tool, we can stretch this line out. I'm just going to take it all the way over to the other side of the page. So we've got an animation where it starts at this small line, and as we get to frame 50, we want it to turn into that big line. So I'm just going to right-click between those two keyframes and make a shape tween. Okay, so clicking on frame 1 now, pressing Enter, you can see we've got a line growing. Okay, so that's basically it. That's a shape tween. Have a bit of a play around with that. You might want to pick up some tools. Um, let's just draw another star on the page. Remember with your black arrow you can actually pick up these shapes and deform them in all sorts of ways. That's just one example. Okay, you can stretch corners out like that. Why don't you try playing with some shapes and seeing what you can do to them over time as you grab your black arrow and just start morphing these shapes. See what sort of effects you can get. Have a bit of fun with shape tweens. It's rarely used uh, in animation these days I don't think. We sort of stick to the motion tweens. But it can be a bit of fun if you can work out some cool ways to use it. Enjoy.